Hello everyone, it's Laddie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So as you can see, I am wearing my shawl that I made um, a while back, about a few weeks, maybe months ago. I actually did post it on, on video on my very first shawl I made. This was the Granny Square shawl. It was very simple. It was done in the um, Red Heart ombre in the gray. I actually love the ombres and I've and I hope to make more, but in just different um, patterns and a different style. But I just wanted to say how much I love it because um, I wear a lot of short sleeves. I do not get cold a lot. But once in a while, you know, there's a little damp coming in from somewhere or a draft or something. And it's perfect to just like drape my, over my t-shirt. And you know, it keeps me warm, but not too hot. So it works perfectly, and I and I can't wait to make some more. I actually, in different colors. But anyway, I'm rambling on you guys. I have a donation, you guys. Look, woohoo! Look at this. A whole bid, and it came with the storage bin too. So I'm really, really happy. Uh, this was a donation made that I don't even have a name to tell you the truth, but I it was a friend of ours who. A friend of a friend of a friend and they found this in their uh, basement so they decided to donate all this yarn to us now first of all I want to say we've been having uh, the ministry's been alive and um, for since uh, for about six years now and um, you know yarn is very expensive you guys and I've always appreciated any kind of donation to the ministry and um, Especially when it comes to, uh, you know, new yarn that's been bought from the store. It could be just a skein or two. Yarn is expensive. So I've always appreciated whatever was donated to the, um, to the ministry. But, the, but it's donations like this one where uh, they're just random. And it's um, yarn that is scraps or um, they have no labels or they're half used or items that were started but never finished or someone has passed away or they you know found in a garage sale or whatever and they may not even have tags on it and people may think that well you know i can't donate this stuff you know but let me tell you it's donations like that that have kept this ministry going for six years because every bit of yarn can be used it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's a scrap or not let me tell you, I just, if you watched my, uh, a few videos ago, I had just a wad of um, the Tutti Frutti left over from a baby blanket I made, and I was able to make a baby head out of it. So, you see, every, every last bit counts when you are, um, when you're trying to make things last. Ooh, so I have not even opened this up, so I have no idea what's in here, but it's a whole bin, and it actually came... Uh, with a storage bin which I am always in need of so let's check it out let's see what's over here Ooh. so let's see I don't even know and like I said it's yarn that's not even you know it has no tags excuse me and it may be uh, a lot of barf yarn or whatever but hey I will use every last bit of it this is a penguin ping of ping of Pingo France, wow, acrylic, what color? And they do not have a color. You know, I notice a lot of this, these yarns that are from other countries, they don't have a color, but they have a color lot. So this one is from France, I guess, Pingo France. And there are, let's see, of this green, I do not, I do have a color lot number but I don't have a color and I have let's see one two three four and look at it I'll use it four five six seven see any more eight nine ooh and then a ball of it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something was started with it. See, I love going through stuff like that. It looked like it was a little granny square that was started. I love going through stuff like this. This is my 
more green, see if any more. Quite a bit of this green, you can actually make quite a lot from it. And let's see, any more of these? Oh my goodness, how exciting. I love this, look at all the green in here of the same one. You could most likely make some, uh, some blanket or hat scarves out of it. Plenty, I think that's about it for that. Then there is, like I said, look at this. And some people may be, oh, I can't donate this. Who's going to use it? Let me tell you, I will make some baby hats out of it. And it has no, but it's got the nice pink. And you see, this is very true to color. I will use this. I will make stuff out of it. This does not at all. Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. Here's a nice one. This is Fentex Elite. What color is this? I have never seen these kind of yarn. I wonder where they got this. I have no color on this. Have you guys seen any of this? Has anybody ever bought yarn like this? King size. This is called King size. Fantexy light. Knitting yarn. Let's see what it does not have a color on here. But it is this, it's like a blue. Let me know you guys if you guys ever seen this kind of yarn before. And since there's a little price tag of 50 cents, I wonder if it was bought at a garage sale or. Let's see, that is there. Let's see, what else can I show off here? And then there's a nice, this color right here. That's very true right there, the color. None of them. A lot of them don't have any tags at all. Just look at that nice gray. That's nice too. Here's the blue. Another blue. I will use up all of this. This does not. Here's another blue. A ball. I love it. And here's a red heart. Oh, this is so old, you guys. Oh my gosh of the patty green look at that am i holding it upside down <laughs> patty green red heart oh i love it and here's a karen dazzle air and this is a butterscotch ombre look at that color that's like a peach it's coming out pink but it's actually uh, like an, a tangerine with yellow it's not the color is not really coming out. It's very pretty though. Very nice. Here's another. Here's a Karen Glen Cannon Soft Brown. There you go, guys. This is old yarn. I love it. I'm so excited. I love this stuff. And here's a nice. This is a gray and white. Just the way you see it. No tag, no idea. I don't know what this is. Okay, do you guys see a little bit? It's got little specks of like some darker, like a caramel or a butterscotch here. Do you see these? Not a lot of them, but I've never seen this. It's very coarse. It's very hard. I will tell you it's not soft at all. See the different, it's got little specks of this uh, different color in here. I love seeing the different yarns that are out there, especially when it's an old one. Oh, look at the super thin. A lot of, you know, uh, my ladies never cared for the very thin yarn. <laughs> and a lot of people don't care for that, for these. But look at that. I don't care. I can, I can work with anything. Very nice. Oh, this is so pretty, too. Look at this color, you guys. Isn't that different? Very nice. Ooh. So interesting. Can't wait to make something out of that. And we have green. Look at these little, little scraps that I, oh. I love scraps. Then I have two of these, which I do not have. It's like a cream. No labels, 
that's okay look at this you guys oh I yeah. actually need some to finish a project that I've been working on and I, I can't you see it's got silver in it look at that it's all some sparkle now I can finish that project let's see what else do I have I have some there's some black in it another shade of green almost olive now is it yeah and let's see another scrap of teal gray let's see what else do I have in here oh I love these scraps and there's some bare brand spectacular and again no color just a lot a lot of these have you guys ever bought yarn this yarn before oh and look I can use that for my uh, twiddle moths the beads and there's a couple of beads and there's blue ones I love it I love it and then here's some gray <laughs> You're all probably like, oh, who cares about these scraps? Look at this pretty yellow. I love scraps. I can't wait to dig into this. I always like to work with scraps first. And then, oops, the red. The red always comes out weird on my camera. And then we have like a rust. Very pretty. And then we have a brown, a gold bell wintuck brown. What is this color? Dark brown. Look at the name of a lot of these brands. Has it? Have you guys ever? Oh, excuse me. Has anybody ever wor uh, worked with any of this yarn or heard of this yarn before? I love looking at the different. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this one. This will make a nice hat too. Let's see. And then I think a little bit more of this, like a scrap. And then another black. And that's about it, you guys. That was all my haul. It's very exciting. I like looking through all the... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Little ball I found it in there. It says, smile. Jesus loves you. How awesome is that? That's awesome. Smile, Jesus loves you. So anyway, you guys, that's my little my little donation that someone uh, donated to our ministry. I'm really grateful, you guys. This will make a lot of stuff. I know it doesn't seem like much. It, you think that, oh, wow, it's just scraps. But you know what? Scraps, scraps, you can make a lot with scraps, okay? You can make a lot with scraps. Scraps is what made this ministry survive six years, you guys. So... Uh, I appreciate it. I, I wish I knew who it was that owned all this yarn. I just know that it was donated by a friend of a friend that they found in the basement of their home. And I am very grateful. You guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, for continually um, commenting and watching this channel and supporting us. So I, I really appreciate that, you guys. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.